Bible reads there in verse number one, we then as workers together with him beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. So one of the main themes, one of the main purposes for kind of going over this and starting this passage is, you know, if you're saved, you've received the grace of God, right? Amen. And, but the whole point, and I brought this up last week, is that we need to be workers, right? It was preached on, on being a hard worker and working for the Lord. You know, we don't want to receive the grace of God in vain, basically meaning it's meaningless. Now, obviously, it's not meaningless for you to be saved, but the rest of your life and kind of what you do with your life would be vain, it would be vanity if you don't use it to serve the Lord. If you don't use that grace then to go out and do good work and to be a minister and to help others, it, it ends up, it's going to end up being a life of vanity. And then he, he brings up here salvation, verse number two, for he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, in a day of salvation I have succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. But then in verse number three, I want to focus on a little bit more, giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. So, you know, the way that we um, present ourselves, the way that we are, the things that we do, you know, the things that we say and how we live our lives, we don't want to give offense in anything because we don't want the ministry to be hurt or we don't want the ministry to be blamed for things we don't want you know a bad name being brought on Christianity as a whole on our church on Jesus Christ because of us because of what we do so we need to be diligent to make sure that we can live above reproach we need to make sure that we're not doing things that are gonna cause the ministry just to be blamed and to tarnish the good name of God or Jesus Christ now there's always going to be people who are going to try to bring down the name of Christ. And if they do that because you're standing on the Word of God, because you are teaching good doctrine, you're literally believing the Bible will be true, you know what? That's not a bad name. They, they may try to bring, you know, try to spin things in a bad light or whatever. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about you doing things, of you being guilty, of you being involved in wickedness, of you doing something really sinful, or even just becoming unfaithful, right, and, and bringing a bad name to the ministry because of uh, something that you actually do that, that you should be blamed for, that we don't want that blame to be spread to the ministry. Now, um, I, I like the way that this passage is kind of separated. We're going to look at uh, the three different types of phrases, if you will, what, the way these verses are laid out. You've got the, the ins, the buys, and the as is. <laughs> the as is. So if you notice there, the first few verses, they're starting in um, verse number four, where you see the in afflictions, in necessities, in distresses, in stripes, right? Those are all the ins. Then you've got the buys in verse six, by pureness, by knowledge, by long suffering. And then you get all the way down to nine, as unknown and yet well known, as dying, behold, we live. Those are the three sections that we're going to look at. So it starts off with the ends. The ends is whatever state you find yourself in while you're serving the Lord. It's, it's in these different times when you're facing this type of, uh, um, you know, persecution or whatever, whatever the deal is here. We're going to look at all of these various ends, the places that we could find ourselves in. And then the by is how we're going to, how we're supposed to be, get through that as a minister of God, as someone who's not going to bring blame to the ministry, here's how we're going to get through these things that we find ourselves in as we serve the Lord, and then um, how we behave ourselves as, um, you know, and then it's going to bring up different ways how we ought to be living. So by is kind of what mechanism we're using, and the in is where we find ourselves in. So we're going to start with digging into these various situations we can find ourselves in so we could know how to handle those situations so that we can be approved an approved minister of God so that the things we do aren't going to bring blame on the ministry because think about it you know it's best to be prepared for the various situations you may find yourself in so you can make the most wise decision you're not caught off guard, off hand, when you know in advance, hey, I could find myself in this situation, in this situation, in this situation, you know how to handle it. To not just be making decisions on the fly of just, well, I don't know what to do here, and, and, and maybe doing something wrong that's going to bring blame or uh, offense. 